Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today we're going to be doing a, a love forecast reading, what's coming next in your love life. I'm not sure how I'm going to actually do this video reading, I've done this so spontaneously. I'm also filming on my bed so I hope that the angle is okay for this reading. Um, so we have group number one, two and three. We're going to see what's going to happen next in your love life. So uh, if you would like to take 10 seconds to choose your group starting now. Okay, so let's get started with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading, see what's coming next in your love life. So we have Fog Spirit, think on your feet. We also have Every Room in My House Makes Me Smile Affirmation. And then we also have Adventure. So for you guys, I'm really sensing possibly a water or a fire sign coming in for you. Um, I'm definitely feeling that there's something around your home environment that needs to be kind of looked at. So I do sense that maybe you're getting really fed up with where you're living, you may be fed up with your home, you may be fed up with just kind of like everything, you're just kind of like, I just want an adventure, I want something to happen. So if you guys, I do sense there is going to be something happening for you, okay? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be looking to your present, your sorry, your past, present and future and your love life. I'm going to see what's coming next to you, what you've had to deal with, and we're going to see what is going to be the next step for you guys, okay? So let's have a look in terms of your past and your and your present. I'm going to go in this quite quickly and then we're going to go into future more in depth. So what's happened in the past for group number one in terms of their love life, okay? We have the Knight of Wands, okay? Let's see if we can clarify that with another card. We have the Page of Swords and then let's clarify the present. What's going on with the present at the moment with group number one, okay? Let's see what's going on. Group number one in terms of their love life. Wow, Ace of Wands. Holy crap, that's good. Oh my God, that's amazing. Okay, we also have the Ten of Pentacles. And then we also have, what's going on for the future energy? Wow, if the present energy is like that, then that's amazing. Like, holy crap. You guys are going to have a massive, big package coming to your door. Okay. So we have the Three of Cups in reverse. This is basically showing me that at the moment, in terms of your love life, you're not really having a very good time, okay? Things are kind of changing and you're really not sure where you're going. Life is kind of a bit topsy-turvy, pretty much like this card. It feels like it's upside down, your life at the moment, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move these cards down here so you can see the tarot a bit clearer. So in terms of this Page of Wands, Page of Swords energy, it's basically showing me that it's kind of been like fuckboy energy around you. People have been treating you kind of really badly and you've had to kind of be really stern about your, like how you feel towards these people, okay? Um, I definitely feel like it's kind of like you have to be very, very positive in terms of where you're at, right? So it's basically like every time this person, every time somebody comes into your life, you're thinking, oh my God, this is going to be really good. And then it wasn't, turn to poop, okay? Could have been a fire sign or an air sign that could have let you down as well. This is a general reading, so just take it as it resonates, okay? So in terms of the present energy, I'm seeing that there is a lot of prosperity for you, okay? You're going to be ending a cycle and coming into a new one, which is much more fulfilling for you. For you guys, you could have, you could actually already be in a relationship if you've chosen this group, Okay. Um, I'm also seeing just an opportunity coming for you, okay? I'm getting number 10, so it could be 10 days, 10 weeks. I'm not seeing 10 months, maybe 10 months, but I don't see that right now. Um, and I do, do feel like there's just somebody coming in for you that's just really going to be so good for you, okay? And they're really going to turn your whole life around. It's going to be like a massive new cycle for you coming in. And basically, it's going to turn your life around where you're just so much happier with where you're at. You're going to be like, I'm so happy, everything's great, everything's doing this, it's like boom, boom, boom. Everything's just going to start happening for you and you're going into a new cycle and you're going to be travelling the world with this person, okay? You possibly could be even travelling with this person or you could meet this person travelling, okay? So I'm going to see more about your future love life. Let's have a look and see what else is coming for you in the future, okay? If you can hear my top, my clock, my talk, my clock ticking in the background, then I'm um, possibly going to have to put that out the room for the next couple of groups because it's kind of getting on my nerves yes this is amazing oh my god this is so good beautiful okay okay i love this this is like you, the sneaky energy is just no more guys like i'm really kind of sensing that this energy is just it's just this is just going this is gone like this is no more you can see right through people okay 
For some of you guys, you could have quite strong Scorpio or Pisces energy who's watching this video for some reason. I don't know why. Even Capricorn, possibly and Taurus. Yeah, exactly. You're moving away from this. I'm just trying to clarify what this Seven of Swords was. You're moving away from the destruction. You're moving away from feeling uncomfortable, from feeling unsatisfied. And you're just going to be... Absolutely, this is stunning. This is like a massive movement. Oh my god, we've got the lovers underneath. Yes! I'm seeing like this is like the massive sun coming out. Things are happening for you. Things are freaking changing, bitch. I'm also getting three weeks for you guys as well in terms of timing, okay? So that is what I really need to say for you guys. This is absolutely amazing. Um, hopefully you guys can see these cards as well. Um, this is like the edge of my bed, by the way, guys. So if I was to put it here, it would literally fall off. Um, that's why I'm only going towards like this part so thank you so much for watching guys if this resonates with you then please give it a big old thumbs up comment down below and subscribe also if you'd like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below i have two love readings available that you can choose from or you can just get a general reading and i can look into love in that way uh completely up to you guys whatever you would like to do i would love to um work with you that'd be amazing thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number two let's get started with your reading and see what's coming for you in your love life i am going to be doing your past present and future as well in your love life so we have our spirit you see clearly now that's amazing beautiful i love that you see clearly now we also have in relationships i honor and protect my sensitivity oh i love that so much it kind of reminds me like with the big umbrella and the little umbrella the images are quite unusual in this deck um but i feel like for this image it's like mummy mummy and dad like kind of like parents and then an inner child like you're the parenting your inner child the sensitivity oh i love that that's so cute forgiveness yes that's amazing okay so first of all we're going to look into these cards and then we're going to have a look into the tarot okay so this is at the edge of my bed by the way guys so it's going to fall off um that's why i'm going to do these cards separately because i don't want to do like the tarot and it'd be like all the way down here and you won't be able to see it properly so you are definitely going to be seeing clearly in terms of your sensitivity okay you're going to be forgiving people who didn't honor your sensitivity and maybe you didn't honor your sensitivity maybe you didn't honor and protect how sensitive you were and therefore you got messed around by a lot of people okay um you see clearly now in terms of your sensitivity you know how to work a girl you know how to work a girl you know that song i don't know what <laughs> i know what it's called but it's from lizzie mcguire movie it's like you better work work a girl <laughs> oh what is it called oh my god it's so good it's such a good song if i remember what the song is i'm gonna put it in the description because it's such a good song it's like yes queen okay <laughs> um okay anyways so we have forgiveness you're going to be forgiving yourself for what say possibly what you put yourself through or possibly what you didn't realize you know you're going to forgive yourself and forgive other people for possibly not honoring your sensitivity and people who didn't really understand how sensitive you were because being sensitive feels like a curse sometimes honestly i've been through every single emotion in terms of how i feel about my sensitivity since only honoring it and being like i want to be sensitive and i, I actually want to be sensitive instead of being like no i'm not sensitive that nah, doesn't agree with me now nah, go away actually it's saying like no i am sensitive i'm going to honor that i'm going to protect myself i'm going to learn how to live my own life because not everyone is like me and that is amazing okay because i can see what's going on in the future i can sense things and that is really good most sensitive people are very very intuitive okay so i do see you are also very intuitive just protecting i feel like it's like child this like adult is almost like protecting the child um so protect yourself you know protect yourself from people who are going to take advantage of you obviously not everyone's going to take advantage of you but it's just really important for you to just protect yourself in terms of like you're doing a really really good job okay you're doing an amazing good job and amazing good job that doesn't really make much sense but um i've had coffee it's getting me through this mercury retrograde okay <laughs> oh my god um yeah you see clearly now yeah i feel like you've like read a lot of books or you've read like a lot of poems and they've also they've helped you to see clearly in terms of what's kind of going on with you so let's have a look in terms of your past energy in terms of kind of what went on with your love life okay let's bring these guys down you see the angle changes so much guys it's just because i'm on my bed but i just wanted to have a chilled reading today so so what's happening in the past for group number two please in terms of their love life thank you very much i've got a really strong angel vibe coming from you guys it's definitely a strong angel 
coming around you guys right now. This pet, this angel is like right behind me, protecting me. I've um, got massive wings, so. Right, okay, so similar to group number one, I feel like you guys had a fuckboy energy kind of around you. Um, not since you had the fuckboy energy, like people were just drawn to you and they were fuckboys pretty much, okay? Um, let's see what this Ace of Cups is about. Yes, moving away from it. Yes, beautiful. I'm gonna try and move this up a little bit. If I move it like a little bit more, it's gonna go down, down the side of my bed, so I can't. <clears throat> okay, what's happening in the future for group number two, please? <clears throat> you need to meet. Yeah, you could possibly be having conversations with people and being like, you didn't treat me right, I'm not going to listen to you anymore. I'm putting your boundaries up, you know, and being like, I don't deserve to be treated like crap. Okay, and then what's this tower about, please? Yes, oh my god. Got the magician. So, underneath the deck we have the emperor. Standing strong within your power, okay? Standing really strong with control. Controlling things that are happening, but it's going really, really well, okay? So, in terms of the past, we have the Knight of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. Somebody could have really done you dirty, okay? There could have been an offer that had come through from an Earth sign. And it could have you could have thought it was a really good offer. And you were like, wow, this looks so amazing. But then, actually, it turns out to be a load of crap. And you were like, well, that was useless. But I learned something from it, you know? Um, it could have been like a job that you also thought was really good and you could have really loved this job. I know it's not to do with love life, but you could have loved this job. And it just ended up being not so good for you, okay? Um, also, I feel like you're carrying your energy from the past into the future, which I feel like is good. You're carrying the good stuff in. You're like using your wisdom from the past and you're bringing that into the future and you're using that in terms of your love life. You are now walking away in the present moment. You're walking away from things that no longer serve you and you're embracing who you freaking are. Amazing. You're very sensitive, very emotional as well. You're quite an emotional person. Could easily be a water sign for this group as well. Or you just have water signs, a water sign quite prominently um, in your life. Like you could even be attracted to water signs. You could have a water sign um, placement quite prominently. So like your Venus sign, Moon, Sun, Mercury, you know, all, all of those even. And you're moving towards a nice new start, which is amazing, okay? This is you getting on the, the new bandwagon, getting on the new ride. You're tired of the old carousel. You're on a new one now, and it's like, boom, I'm ready. I'm seeing new views. I'm seeing new opportunities coming in. You're going to have so many options from people. It's going to be absolutely amazing, okay? And then because of this new cycle, because you are learning from the past, you're getting rid of old people. You're getting rid of people who don't serve, do not serve you anymore. The tower is coming crashing down and it's going to be like, boom. I'm seeing this more like a, a like, like, you know, like mind blown kind of thing. Because it's like, oh my God, I never realised like I had all this power, you know. And you're going to have so many opportunities coming towards you. This is number one. This is like, I, I am amazing. I'm powerful. I'm strong. I'm also seeing this number one as like, I, you know, like I am. I am beautiful. I'm strong. I'm powerful. And this is you going to be embracing who you are. You're going to be channeling some really strong energy. And somebody is going to come in and it's going to be so attracted to you. Oh my God, it's amazing. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to get a private reading of me, all my information is down below. I always am offering two love readings. I do a love situation reading and a future uh, love reading. And also, I do just general readings anyway, so you can choose whichever option you would like. And then message me on Instagram or email if you would like to get in contact with me. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you very soon. Group two, bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's going on in your love life. Right, we have love partnership. Amazing. We then have for your affirmations, we have I'm open and receptive to the healing power of divine love. Oh my god. This is this group is so intensely on love, guys. Oh my god, this is so wow. This is the first I feel like all these groups have been really, really good, but this one is really specifically to do with love. This is like so love based, honestly. I am worthy of more prosperity and I open my heart and hands to receive it now. So those two are your affirmations. If you would like to write those down or pause the uh, video now, you can do that. Okay, and then we also have time to heal and time for beginner's mind. Yes, oh my God, this is great. So because you've been healing, um, you are now starting to learn who you really are and you're like, oh my God, wow, mind bone, like like I'm, I actually know who I am now and it's like you're starting to learn who you are so it may be a bit of a difficult time for you right now but I definitely feel like this is going to be a really good time 
for you to kind of embrace who you are and because you're healing and you're going to be like starting a new cycle and you're going to be learning things that are new and it may feel a bit uncomfortable because it's just new territory it's actually really really good okay you may feel a bit frightened in this like with a porcupine obviously he has his like little little spike little spikes um so i feel like you could feel the need to kind of like put up walls or stop yourself from feeling all of this but actually don't don't do that guys like embrace who you are and be an absolutely amazing human being as you are and heal all the old past shed that skin girl and um or guy obviously i just say that's a phrase <laughs> uh, shed your skin and bring in this new person and don't obviously try to block out uh kind of what's going on for you okay so i'm going to move these cards down here because um the angle is a bit weird so you won't be able to see them very well if i don't put the tarot down if i don't if I put the tarot here you won't be able to see it very well so let's have a look so the fact we've got love partnership though i mean oh my god 26 as well could be a very significant number so number six two or eight could be a very significant number for you so let's go have a look and see what's going on in the past in group number three's love life i'm getting a massive tingling at the top left of my head the back of it very strange what happened in the past for group number one uh sorry group number three there we go group number three okay temperance okay please clarify temperance for me Two, oh my god <clears throat> literally the same card for me that literally is the same card for me um I'm very similar anyway what happened what's happening in the present moment yes that's so good oh my god okay what else is going on for group number three please okay beautiful and then what's going on in the present for group number three what they got to look forward to oh my god <laughs> yes so you are you guys are so on the right path oh my god i feel like i just saw a bat it may have been a bird but i feel like it was a bat i don't know what's significant about bats but maybe look that up <clears throat> could represent halloween as well you could have a birthday around halloween <clears throat> we could be going for a dark night of the soul okay so let's clarify this three of pentacles as well let's see what's going on there wow so definitely a fire sign coming in for you guys or an earth sign or this is you guys kind of being in hermit mode right now okay <clears throat> sorry i keep coughing guys um yeah i feel like you guys are possibly in hermit mode right now just trying to figure out where you're going trying to feel kind of the i'm getting like feel the earth i'm seeing like you on your hands and knees and just feeling earth so i feel like you guys are really kind of um feeling new ground you know you're kind of feeling it out and seeing how you feel about it um and you're just kind of channeling that energy okay so let's have a look in terms of this energy um in terms of the past with your love life it's all about balance okay for you guys and this is so funny because i was literally just talking to my mother about balance today and how the word balance keeps coming up for me and it's so so funny so for you guys i really feel like there's a lot of balancing in terms of your emotions balancing how you create your own life okay um how you balance your own emotions how you fill your own cup up and how to not basically what was that quote that i retweeted today what was it not retweeted i posted on instagram and it's like don't set yourself on fire what is it i'm gonna like see if i can get this quote up because it's really bothering me i really want to know what it, what it is let me have a look one sec guys let me see um is it okay you are not required to set yourself on fire to keep others warm okay that is like the quote i feel like for you guys okay so i feel like that's definitely what you're kind of working with right now and in the past i don't feel like you knew how to balance your how you feel about people and how they feel about you it's almost like you're feeling you're you're giving too much to people and you just weren't aware of it you know and because you're such a nice person it's like why well, i want to give to people but actually it's it's really hard to get that balance for i feel like for this group especially but you're you're doing it now you're doing it you're really kind of filling your own cup up you're working on yourself and that's what's showing in the present moment you're working on yourself and it may be hard you know they may, you may be going through quite a tough cycle but I feel like the more you focus on this energy and not avoid this, avoid negative thinking, avoid repetition, you know, avoid 
when I say repetition, I mean avoid going in a circle in terms of your thoughts, your patterns, you know, that sort of thing. And basically just try to focus on who you are and you as an individual, not you with anybody else, not you talking to anyone else, literally just you. What do you want? How are you going to fill your cup up? And this, I don't know why I was holding it like that. Like, ooh. Um, it can mean basically to not focus on people who are going to drain your energy and drain who you are and not to be around people who are going to judge you for who you are as well, okay? Um, and if something feels draining or less than what you want, don't be afraid to cut that shit off because that is just going to benefit you so well. Because if you're a very sensitive person, you can suck up people's energy like a sponge. And it's very important for you to kind of avoid that as much as possible. Avoid people who aren't going to be there for you. Flaky people, people who don't give a shit, people who will just do the bare minimum for you. Is it something like don't jump over, don't jump over lakes that people would only jump over a puddle for you or something like that? I'm getting all these like very interesting quotes. Um, but in terms of the um, future, I'm seeing that a definite lover is going to come in for you when you're working on yourself, okay? When you're proud, when you're proud of who you are and you're not really bothered by having a relationship at this point. Um, so number three could be very significant for you. Could be your life path number, could be your month of your of the year. So possibly you could be born in March. Um, it could be to do with what they're telling me. Like just the number three is just very significant. Angel number for sure. Could even be the timing when this person comes in, three days, three weeks, three months, uh, something like that. Doesn't have to be that, as this is a general reading. Um, so I do feel like you're definitely gonna be meeting your fire sign as well. You, you're going into this energy too, so you you and this person are gonna match energies. And um, this person, I feel like, did we get the snake? Yeah, I feel like this person used to be the snake. So they could, not to say that they were snakish, like they were kind of like a bad energy, but basically like they were the snake in sense of what does that mean they were kind of feeling out the ground like what i just said that they were feeling out the ground like new territory and they were very unsure of who they were and therefore they shed that skin that they didn't want anymore and therefore they've come into this new person and they're becoming more of like a independent intense flowering they're just flowering you know and their intensity is coming out and it's really really good when i say intensity basically meaning that all their parts of the personality that they shoved down, that they pushed down, that they didn't like, are all coming out now and they're really embracing that. And that's definitely what you're doing as well and therefore you both are going to meet each other on the same level. This person you could also meet through work, you could meet this person through a journey, they tell me, just like a journey. So you could meet this person overseas or this person could be from overseas. I'm just getting you on a boat or like a barge, something like that. And it's like, yeah, you're like travelling overseas to this person um yeah that's kind of what i'm seeing for you guys in terms of your love life this is mainly aimed at singles guys i hope this is resonating for you guys uh yeah definitely mainly aimed at singles in terms of your it could be aimed at people who have a relationship as well but it's in terms of a new person coming in if you guys aren't looking for someone new i do sense that basically yeah this is more aimed at singles <laughs> um yeah so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up also as i say if you aren't single and it's resonated that's even more amazing okay guys so thank you so much for watching uh, please give this video a big old thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you would like to get a private reading with me you can instagram message me or you can email me at victoria here to aspire at gmail.com all the information is down below in the description i have all my options listed and i also do specific love reading so you can get a love uh future love reading or a love situation reading if you're dealing with somebody and you don't know what's kind of going on um i have those down below as well so thank you so much for watching have a great day evening morning and i'll speak to you very soon bye